Mersey Maritime Group represents the maritime business, businesses in this part of the world. There are roughly 1,700 businesses who collectively employ 34,000 people and it's a really important part of the economy in this part of the world. And the prospects are excellent, providing real good opportunities for young people and older people to have good, skilled jobs. But on Merseyside, it was decided about two years ago that there should be a concentration on four key, what are called transformational projects. And they are the knowledge economy, the visitor economy, the low carbon economy, and Liverpool Superport. These four projects will form the hard core of future economic development and future jobs and good prospects for people in this region. In, in terms of jobs, at present 34,000 people employed. By 2020, an additional 21,000 people will, will be employed. And by 2030, an additional 30,000 people employed. So the job prospects are excellent. In terms of companies and proportion of, of the maritime sector, 20% of the businesses are in shipping and ports. And the, the perception there is, that is, people working on ships. In reality, it's shipping companies which are based in Liverpool, and lots of the jobs are professional, office-based, dealing with import and export of goods. In terms of the ports, lots of specialist skills in terms of crane drivers, warehouse people, a um, whole range of distribution logistics jobs, but also management jobs and, and project management jobs seem to be crucial and critical to, to the industry. In terms of the maritime services, a whole range of professional jobs. Marine engineering as, as a, a service support industry is, is growing rapidly in this part of the world. And we have lots of young apprentices who successfully complete their training and move into highly skilled and, and well-paid jobs. At present, big ships, mainly from the Far East, come to and from Europe. And at present, their, their main stopping points are in the, the southern ports. What will be happening by 2015 is that a canal um, which links North and South America, the Panama Canal, will be widened. And that will allow big ships an alternative route to come from the Far East, across the Pacific, and then across the Atlantic giving Liverpool a strategic advantage because of its, its Atlantic facing. In order to prepare for that, there will be significant investment in the Liverpool area to accommodate those big ships and to accommodate the anticipated growth in trade. What the business, the maritime businesses um, ask of potential employees are three basic simple things. Will the person turn up on time? Will they turn up regularly? And do they have a positive attitude? And all of those, if you like, general skills that work ethic is important underpinned by some good basic qualifications. What the workforce of the future will be, will be highly qualified, highly skilled, flexible, and flexible is crucial willing to take on new challenges, willing to develop a whole range of skills during their, their working life. People like to take on challenges. People like to travel. People like to um, have a job which is fulfilling. And in Superport, there are some really exciting opportunities in each of the various elements. And the key factor, I think, especially for Merseyside, if I may say this, 
is growth and stability of jobs. So the prospects are real. It's not just um, it's not just a story. They're, they're real. So we have the opportunity for progression and not necessarily a job for life, but jobs for life if young people and others are prepared to train and be flexible and unchanged.